Hello, I'm Natasha Lewis, and I am going to show you how I excel. Get that playing words. Um, I'm going to show you how to navigate and get the most out of the most effective diagnostic skill building program that I have encountered in my educational career. So iExcel is a personalized learning program, and it offers unlimited practice problems with meaningful up-to-date tracking on student progress. This online program helps students gain and maintain fluency and confidence with essential math and language arts skills with fun interactive questions and built-in support. So let's get started. So this is the sign-in page. Of course, our school bought the program. Um, however, there is a way for you to individually use this program. You would just have to create an account. Okay, so if you notice across the top, there are four tabs, My IXL, Learning, Assessment, and Analytics. So we're going to start with the My IXL. So this is the dashboard. So you can see uh, for all of your students that are uh, signed into this program, you can see how many questions they've answered, how much time they have spent in school and at home. You can see the skills that they mastered, uh, the skills that they have become proficient in, how many students are working on IXL at the present time. So you get live, um, feedback so you can give live feedback okay so first you set up a profile and then you can add a class so notice i have several classes that i have added to ixl i also use this for summer school so um all you have to do is click on add class you name the class and you add the students okay ixl also provides username and password cards so that you will always have their login information. You know how students are, I teach ninth grade. So what I do, I print the cards out and I keep a binder with their cards so that whenever we get on IXL, everyone knows exactly how to log in. IXL is aligned to Alabama State Standards and IXL has access to just about every literature and grammar book that I have used in my 15 and a half years of teaching. So let's get to the learning tab. The first thing I want to show you is one of the games. Notice that it is skill-based. It's about uh, verb tense and it is very engaging and it will help students build those skills that they need to do the lessons. Now, here is still under the learning tab. Here is the page where uh, all of the lessons are kept from pre-K all the way until 12th grade. And if you notice, there are several skills in every grade level. So what I did was I clicked on um, one of the grade levels. I believe this is kindergarten. I use kindergarten a lot because I have newcomers, uh, newcomer ELL students, and they can benefit from letter identification, from learning lowercase and uppercase letters. So I use this uh, program a lot. So I opened one of the lessons actually in ninth grade because we are talking about sentence structure in my classroom right now. So I wanted you to see how the page and how the lessons are structured. So if you notice, IXL calculates how many questions are, uh, that are answered and also a SMART score. Now, teachers, you have the ability to jump a level if you feel like the student is being challenged or the student moves to the pace of whatever their skill level is. So I answered a question correctly so you can see that the SMART score increased. I answered another one correctly. Notice how the SMART score 
um, increased again. So I'm going to stop right here and let you know that the SMART score um, is designated by the teacher. In other words, there are some students that I set their SMART score at 70 and others I let them go all the way to 100. So you can differentiate, uh, differentiate using IXL. So I answered one wrong um, so that you can see that not only does it tell you that the answer is incorrect, but it gives you an explanation. Now, I didn't go down far enough so that you can see the explanation, but it is very clear and concise. Moving right along, I just wanted to show you that the SMART score continues to increase. And what happens is the more answers uh, students get correct, your SMART score increases and the less uh, number of questions you get. The more incorrect answers a student gives, then the SMART score decreases and they get more questions because what they're going to do is they're going to keep uh, the student at the level that they are comfortable with and that they are confident with. And then they're going to continue question after question to build those skills until they get to where they need to be. All right, so IXL also um, puts together a recommendation list for the students based on their progress or non-mastery of skills. Um, IXL has certificates for teachers as well as badges and certificates for students. You can pin skill plans. And when I say this is the most meticulous and um, very well planned lessons for weeks and weeks and weeks, as many lessons as you want. And as you can see that they are very, very specific. So what I did was I opened a ninth grade uh, weekly plan and you can see from week to week, There are several lessons and I opened one up so that you can kind of see how the skill looks. You can preview the skill before you pin it. Moving right along, um, IXL keeps up with the student's progress and improvement, which is awesome. They always know what they are doing well in and they always know what they need to work on. And teachers, we have access to live, um, to our students working live. We can see them working as they are working, how long they've been working and how much they have progressed. And last but not least, as you can see, this page gives you a great diagnostic of the skills. And you can do this by class or you can do this by student. The SMART score, the questions answered, how many questions it took them to get to that SMART score, the time spent, and the day that they were on the lesson. So I hope now you have a better understanding of IXL. Thank you.